after the storms we experienced earlier this summer, it left a lot of people without power for multiple days. Here with ways you can be better prepared for future power outages and sponsoring our segment today from CU Trade Services is Michael Breen. Michael, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you. Okay, so those storms, wow, they were a doozy, left a lot of people without power for multiple days. Let's talk a little bit about ways we can prevent losing power in the future. So the best way to prevent losing power is uh, a whole home generator uh, or a standby generator, some people refer to it as. Um, and those, those generators are actually programmed, they have the electronics in them now, uh, to handle the new technology that is in your home. So things like your furnaces and some of your higher technology water heaters, um, those have to have a certain voltage supply to them. Uh, and those whole home generators will actually produce that. So can any home be eligible to have a generator? It kind of sounds like maybe not. So it, I would say every home is eligible. Um, it would obviously depend on the application as far as if there's any upgrades that would need to be made to accept that generator. Uh, but for the most part, every home uh, would accept a, a new generator. Do technicians need to come out to get the generator started and going um, if the power happens to go out or is it something that just kicks on automatically? So yeah, it is, it is definitely automatic. No one's got to come out and manually turn it on. Um, the new generators actually have cycling switches so that once a week that generator will come on, it will run, it reassures the homeowner that everything's working properly. Um, and then when you do lose power, you know, there, there is the technology inside those now. Um, when it notices that power failure, it can bring on and start supplying power to the home. Yeah, I know a lot of people were very thankful for those, my grandma being one who has a generator. A lot of people, though, did not. So are there any other things that homeowners can do to prepare? And tell me a little bit about your role at CU Trade Services. Yeah, so I mean, as far as preparing for the storms, you know, the best way is with a generator because your most loss um, when not having power would probably come by your sump pump not running. You're going to have water damage at that point. Um, so making sure that you have a battery powered sump pump or a water powered sump pump that can run without power um, would be just another way to prepare. Yeah, a lot of people are also concerned about their food in their freezer and their right. refrigerator going bad and spoiling. So just another another thing to consider. Um, yeah. Tell, tell me a little bit about what you yeah. do there at CHA Services. So um, what I do is I work on a lot of our process, our procedure stuff with our trade services team, but as well as our construction team. So every day we're kind of communicating amongst each other and seeing how we can make our processes and our procedures mesh with our other companies under the roof. Um, so my trades guys who will provide the plumbing, the electric, and the HVAC um, in a home can work with our construction side who has also got a restoration side. So from the time that storm hits until we get your home back in working order, um, CU is with you all along the way. So you kind of sound like the one-stop shop. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you have a great offer going on right now for people who may want to prevent being without power for multiple days yeah. um, with a generator offer. Yeah, so right now um, with the purchase of our generator, if you call in before September 1st, um, you will get a $750 off of our generator as well as we put a, an audible alarm on your sump pump. So you're going to get that value off of the generator, um, but you're also going to get a little peace of mind knowing that if your sump pump does start to struggle or back up, uh, you're going to get an alert as well. Yeah. Okay. So if people want to take you up on this offer, what do they need to do? Uh, contact our office uh, immediately and uh, we'll come out. We'll send out uh, a member of our staff and they'll assess the situation like I said make sure there's no other upgrades that may be needed and we can get the ball rolling. All right well thank you so much I know that would offer a lot of people um, some peace of mind knowing in the future they won't have to worry if the power were to go out so we appreciate you being here today. Thank you. You're welcome if you want to learn more about the services offered at CU Trade Services and that special offer that you're seeing there on the screen there's a look at their website cutradeservices.com and of course we will connect you that um, to that on our website, sayliving.tv, after today's show. And we sure do thank CU Trade Services for sponsoring our CI Home segment today.